Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy 2018. It's been a hot minute since I've posted and there's a bunch of reasons why, which I won't go into in this video, but just know that I'm back and I'm really trying to make an effort to post more. 2018 I vowed to really build on this channel. I think it has a lot of potential and I want to make it something more than it is now and so I'm working towards that and we're starting it off with sleep. In the past I haven't been so great with sleep. Uh, I kind of put it off. Uh, I didn't really see the importance of it. With that being said, sleep is really important. I'm not going to go into uh, all the benefits of it. I'm sure you guys know everything. Sleep is so crucial. If you are eating well and exercising and drinking water but you are not sleeping, it's almost like it cancels all of them out. Sleep is so important. I'm going to talk about ways that I've improved my sleep and kind of tips and tricks on how you can improve your sleep. Yeah, let's, let's get into it. <laughs> my first hack, you should say, is to set yourself a bedtime. At least for me, it, it's not technically really I need to get to bed at 10 or something because sometimes that's not always going to happen and then once you set a rule and you break it then you kind of go like screw it and then you just end up maybe going to bed at 1 because you're like well I passed my bedtime anyway. So what I have set is a before X, before time rule. Like I want to be in bed attempting to sleep, not in my bed on my phone. I want to have everything I'm lying down, eyes closed, trying to sleep by 12 like before 12 I should say. So I just try to make, it's almost like a countdown. Like I, if I see that it's like 11 something, I'm like, okay, I need to be in my bed soon because I don't want the, I don't want it to get past 12. Like it's a before whatever rule. So maybe um, for you, if you are in high school still and you still need to get up really early, maybe it's before 11. So try to set that, okay, before 11. So it's not really, I need to be in bed at a certain time because that can often be broken. Then you get discouraged and then you're like, screw it and whatever. Try to set a before time. So I want to be in bed before X. So for me, it's midnight. Um, and for you, do whatever, you know, adjust to whatever your lifestyle is like. Um, second one, you've heard it a million times and I've heard it a million times. But my second kind of tip or something that I like to try to live by is to get off my phone, get off the electronic devices um, and not be on it right up until you go to bed. Like. I don't give a specific time, like I'm not like an hour or two hours or three hours before bed. I just don't want to be on it. I don't want to be on my laptop, then immediately close and go to bed because usually that does not work. I want there to be some sort of like, I'm on my laptop or something and then my before bed, maybe I am doing a meditation. Uh, maybe I am uh, reading a book or maybe I am simply just doing my routine. I'm brushing my teeth, I'm washing my face, I'm planning out what I'm going to wear tomorrow. Just like. I want there to be some sort of leeway in between electronics and bed. I don't want it to be, I'm on my phone and then like I turn off my phone and go to bed because often that won't work. Everyone understands why you want to get off. It's that blue light. It disrupts your circadian rhythm, it tricks your brain into thinking that it is still daylight and then it doesn't make you sleepy. So that is my tip number two. Tip number three is have a solid, relaxing night routine. Um, I'm sure this is like a huge thing all over YouTube, morning routines, night routines, get some ideas. Try to set yourself a nice routine. So something that you'd have like every night before bed. Oftentimes for me, it would be a shower or a bath before bed. Um, then maybe I'd brush my teeth, I'd wash my face, I'd make myself a cup of tea. That is a big thing. I always have tea before bed. I have tea all day, but um, I will make tea. Just some sort of routine that you have so your body kind of gets familiar and knows, okay, so when she's doing these things, she's getting ready to go to bed. Your body likes uh, consistency and, and, and some sort of... Yeah, consistency, sure. Something um, like a nightly routine, which you may already have. You may already have, oh, okay, well, I have my shower and then I do this, but maybe look at your routine right now. Is it kind of irregular? Is it maybe a little stressful? It's not very relaxing. Look at your routine right now, tweak it, and adjust accordingly. My fourth one is pretty general, pretty broad. It's just, it kind of ties into the first one, but just to keep the regular schedule again, keeping that consistency, saying like try to go to bed the same time every night, wake up the same time every morning. Um, obviously the weekends can be a little different, 
Uh, you might sleep in a little later, but try to make it pretty consistent. I found that when I was working in the summer at my summer job, I would be waking up early every morning, so now my kind of sleep is kind of it's shifted where I can no longer sleep in really past like 9.30. I will wake up around anywhere between like 7.30 to 9.30. That's kind of where I wake up just naturally now because my body has gotten used to that regular amount of sleep. Whereas if you're going to bed at 2 and you're going to bed at 11 and you're going to bed at 4 or 1 or whatever, your body, you know, you want to give it consistency like I'm saying. Try to get a regular sleep schedule down. And it doesn't matter if you go to bed late and at one night just try to make it like don't try to make it up in, in in some way just try to okay tomorrow night then I'm gonna implement this new thing every day is a new day <laughs> you can implement it um, even if you you know go to bed late when I still do that on the weekends obviously but again try to try to make it a regular schedule my fifth thing is um, something to do with food and um, try not to eat a big meal close to your bedtime. I often will have a midnight snack, let's say even last night, I was going to bed and I was in my bed and I was trying to sleep and I had just like, it just dawned on me this panging hunger. I was so hungry and oftentimes you don't want to get, you, you're not able to sleep um, if you are so hungry. So I'm not saying whatsoever not to eat before bed. I don't believe in any sort of rules that you should abide by. I am saying that maybe if you're going to have something before I'd keep it light just because this is the only thing, this is not at all about weight gain or <laughs> storing fat, that is not at all what I'm saying. Just if you have a big, a larger meal uh, close to your bedtime, it does put a, um, it just get your digestive system ready to start like moving and digesting and stuff and oftentimes that can disrupt your sleep because your body is putting in energy and taking energy to digest and, and, and oftentimes maybe if you're lying down right after a big meal it can give you um, acid reflux or heartburn. So if you're going to eat something before bed, keep it light. I had banana and peanut butter, that's what I had yesterday, I had a banana and peanut butter. Or a piece of toast or maybe a little bowl of cereal. Something light oftentimes I know um, people can snack late and that is totally totally fine that is totally normal just try to keep it smaller so your your tummy is happier um, the seventh thing is to try to limit your caffeine past 3 p.m. this is something that I just kind of have in my head like I don't want to have any sort of coffee even though you might not have that buzz still the caffeine is still in your system and it might Kind of disrupt your sleep depends how caffeine sensitive you are here being at university i know <laughs> i literally have housemates that drink coffee at like 6 p.m and whatever um but typically um you want to try to stay away from caffeine after 3 p.m i would sort of say stick away from coffee past 3 p.m i tend if i have like a green tea or some sort of tea that might have a little bit of caffeine later i don't see it really tending to affect my sleep but I would say coffee particularly especially Starbucks um, try not to have it past 3 p.m. and maybe stick to teas my eighth one is to practice meditation I'm actually gonna make a whole separate video on meditation because it's something that I've really really gotten into the last like I'd say like last past year but really in the last I don't know six months or so something that I've really gotten into and I would highly 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 recommend it because oftentimes if you're having trouble sleeping it might be racing thoughts you might be thinking about things you have to do tomorrow or thinking about the past and your mind is just racing and meditation can really really help with that and particularly sleeping meditations which ones that will try to coax you into sleep and I know it's kind of intimidating and you're kind of like okay like what do I do um, I have a, like a bunch of apps I could recommend one is um, stop breathe and think I can put the link to the app store in the description box but that one is like I think one of the first ones that I ever downloaded and I love it it's great it's simple it's straightforward and it's free um, they do have packs you can add but I never found I never bought any other packs I found that was fine so if you're looking for a straightforward meditation app that has some sort of sleeping stuff in there you can kind of dabble it's that one's a really good one and then my second one that I can recommend that is well actually I have I have a bunch of meditation apps, I'll, I'll recommend three, but the second one I can think of is called Pacifica and it's specifically targeted towards stress and anxiety and, and trying to work through that. It not only has meditations on there, but it has other things like journaling and um, positive affirmations, I'm pretty sure. They do have quite a good selection of 
um, meditations on there, especially targeted towards different situations, maybe your commute or sleeping or stressful event or anxiety or sadness or something. So they have them tailored to very different things. So that one is really good as well. Also free and then they have like in-app pur purchases I'm pretty sure. And then the last app and my personal favorite app and the one that I use the most is called Insight Timer. And I'm pretty sure Insight Meditation Society is like, it's a meditation society and then they created this app based on that. Um, and it just has thousands and thousands and thousands of different meditations and they update it every day and they're by like some of the world's best like spiritual teachers, uh, psychologists, and they're all free. It's like, it, the thing that really irked me with most meditations apps, meditation apps is that they either A, were free on the app store and then you bought it or you, or sorry, and then you downloaded it and then they were like, haha, you have to buy a subscription now. And I was like, well, screw you, man. I'm just trying to meditate. Or they would have a very limited selection and then they would ask you to um, do a subscription. You could get like way more. Um, but this one, it's completely free. There's nothing you need to buy. They did just update it where you get, there is an offer to get a subscription, but it's for other things. And basically you have access to thousands and thousands and thousands of meditations and many and many and many of which are sleeping ones. And I would just recommend you kind of dabble in that and maybe do one before bed to try to still your mind. Don't worry if you're not a pro at meditation, anyone can do it basically, and it just takes practice. And uh, yeah, I would highly, 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 highly recommend that one. That's like definitely one of my stressors. And the last one, and this is kind of more practical, um, if you are lying in bed and you're like, I can't sleep and your mind is racing, one thing that I found really helpful is to focus on my breath, and it kind of goes into meditation, but this is just not any sort of guided meditation, but it's kind of the whole idea of counting sheep. You want to focus on something that isn't your thoughts. So try to take your mind off things. So if you're in bed and you're lying down, just try to focus on your breath. So what I like, the counts that I found that really worked for me is I do in for four, hold for four, and then exhale for eight. And I do the extra exhale just because I find that that extra time allows me to really get into like a really more like relaxed state so try to do that little set tweak it start with four four and four maybe like like in for four hold for four and then out for four and do what works for you um, but I find the four four eight to work for me and then oftentimes I will be focusing on my breath and then I'll wake up in the morning and be like oh I didn't even realize that I had fallen asleep because I was just focused on my breath but basically anything like that there are other practices other ways to do this but that is my practical if you're in bed and you're like, I can't sleep, to focus on your breath and your breathing and try to relax that way. So those were my eight kind of sleeping hacks, tips, things that I can give you to um, really improve your sleep. I don't know, stress the, the importance of sleep and how important that is. And I know at least um, still the beginning of the year, people have their New Year's resolutions. And I hope that uh, sleep is one of yours because it is so, so vitally important. It is like crazy, crazy, crazy important. So I hope that you guys um, implement these. Uh, let me know how they work for you. If you have any other suggestions, you can leave them in the comments if you please. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have a lovely day. Uh, hopefully you see more of me soon. Um, I'm working hard um, to really try to push out some more content. So stick around, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.